she did the ah that was official Hey guys, it's Jayla. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys, this package just came in the mail today. So I'm going to be showing you guys in particular, um, the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. But I also, you know, just cause I got some other things, wanted to show you guys the um, number three Snap Shadows. I have um, one of her cream blushes. This is the first one I purchased. Um, this is the Cheeks Out. Okay. One of the matchsticks. This is in suede. We're going to find out if that is light, bright, friendly here in a minute. And also, I got a free gift in this package. Um, the Diamond Bomb Baby. So this is the little lip gloss. As well as um, a little travel mirror. We're going to see. We're going to see what this is. I, <laughs> and it's in Fusty. That's my favorite shade of the gloss bomb. It looks kind of funny. We're going to open that here in a second. So for this video, I really want it to um, be about the Pro Filter foundation. So I'm going to open this up first. I don't wear foundation. I don't have foundation. Well, I do. I think I have some. It's some Clinique stuff that I never really liked. It was liquid. And that's how I knew I didn't like foundation. I didn't like putting liquid on my face. So I was just like, I'm not gonna do that. So when Rihanna Fenty Beauty came out with a Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation, I said, I need to get it. So you guys know, since I've never used foundation for real, I haven't used Fenty foundation, so I don't know my shade. I took the um, shade quiz online and they told me that I was a 300, so we're gonna try. Not to make fun of actual disorders, but I think I have something along the lines of skin tone dysmorphia. In my mind, I'm the same color as Solange, which just isn't true. So we're gonna see if I did the quiz right. So out of the box, it looks like this. As I said, it's the color 300. So when you open it up, oh, come on girl, I went to college. All right, open it up. The product is there. Girl, it looks so dark. It looks so dark. It looks so dark. I already know this isn't gonna work, but let me still show you guys um, what we have here. So there's a mirror here, and when you open it up like this, pop it open, you have the little sponge that you're supposedly supposed to use to apply the makeup. And there's another mirror um, on the other side. So we're gonna try this. I have a spot right here. So let me try with covering that up before I decide to apply it all over my face. So it comes off pretty pigmented. Gosh dang, that's dark. I'm just gonna... Wait a minute. Girlfriend, I think this might be the right shade. because I knew this wasn't going to be the right shade. No, I think I might have lied. It might be too dark. I don't know. You guys tell me if this is looking too dark. Let me read the directions. What are the directions? I don't know what to apply foundation. So medium to full coverage for all lightest air, flawless filter effect. That's all. Okay, that's all. I don't know. It doesn't look. It looks pretty significantly the same. In my opinion, this is a match. I think the spot is definitely still there because it's a significant spot, but it is blurred, girl. It is blurred. Well, that's really cool. This foundation was like, I don't remember how much it was off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen. It wasn't cheap though. I think it was like 30 some dollars. So I was really like, really scared that I was gonna get the wrong shade and have to purchase another one.
What I'll probably do though is get her concealer in the color 300 now for my under eyes. Girl, that looks great. Wow, that looks good. The sponge though, I like this sponge. I gotta look up to see if I can wash it and reuse it because I will do that. Okay, wow, so I really like the foundation. I wish I can cover this spot completely, but it is light to medium coverage. It's not full coverage. So it really like did what it was supposed to do in this one. So my first foundation ended up being a match. So excited about that. Okay, so let's look into some of the other products that I got. So secondly, we got the Snap Shadows. This is my first time purchasing one of her Snap Shadows. This is number three, the Deep Neutrals. Hopefully this looks good on my skin, girl, I don't know. So with the snap shadows, they're supposed to snap together, which is why like the bottom is kind of sort of hollow. You're supposed to have multiple, so you can stack them. So I was tempted to get two and I said, wait, hold on girl, we, we saved it in 2021. So I just got one, <laughs> but trust if I like it, I will be buying more. So let's just, oh my gosh, am I okay? There we go. All right, so with the Fenty Beauty snap shadows is what we have. With the mirror, it's gonna psych me out if I see myself in the mirror. So here are the shadow colors. We got some glitters, we got some deep regular tones. This foundation is doing it. Look, I love it, I love it. I just really like light stuff. I don't like putting heavy liquid stuff on my face, so this is awesome. Okay, so let's just look at a couple of these and how they tape to my skin. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some of um, some of that deep purple, burgundy. That looks like it'll go really well with my lip paint. Comes off really good, really well on the brush. But it looks like the underdog lip stuff she has. Mind you guys, I don't wanna do eyeshadow either, so I'm just gonna see how it takes to my skin. Which supposed to be the crease line, right? See, I learned stuff. No, this is wrong. It's wrong, but it's pretty. So what I'm gonna do is watch a couple videos, and learn how to do this. That's oh, that's. See, it looks really bad because I don't know what I'm doing. But let's take a little bit of the glitter and um, maybe just. I'm embarrassing myself at this point, but it looks like it is very pigmented and it'll show up on your skin. Let me take this off before I just, very pretty though, very pretty. For the record, when I do wear makeup, like mascara or if I use eyeliner or something like that, I remove it with the Fenty Cleanser, which I'm gonna make a video about that shortly about for you guys, um, of how that works, because it is great for removing makeup. So ordinarily, I would remove this with the cleanser, but I don't wanna wash my face right now because I'm not gonna go to bed yet, and I have this makeup on, so I'm just gonna take it off with this micellar water I have. And honestly, the cleanser does a much better job. <laughs> Okay, so that was the snap shadow. So now let's take a look at the matchstick. Girl, I for real don't know how to use this. Okay, conceal, correct, and contour, long wear, light as air layering. Um, so I got the color suede, which is very dark. So I really hope that this, I've seen people do like their cheekbone, under the cheekbone or like down their nose. So this is what it's looking like compared to my skin. Oh, it looks really nice. You can roll it up, you can roll it down. Let's see. And I feel like I have to blend it with something. For the record, y'all, this is not how you contour your face. I've never contoured my face a day in my life. I was really just trying to see what this shade looked like on my skin. Don't do it like this. Don't do it like this, but don't unsubscribe from me. I promise this is the last time I show y'all some amateur looking stuff like this. All right, with that being said, back to your regular schedule program. Oh, that looks good. Good 
Okay. I have a feeling that I'm about 98% correct that I did not do this right. So let's get this brush that I was using earlier and try to blend that. supposed to look like but we're gonna look into that I just wanted to show you guys what I had okay it really looks like I drew a line on my face and tried to blend it so I'm gonna have to research how to use the snap the, the what's it um the matchstick so that was that I'm really loving the foundation y'all I can't I'm so excited about it now I want to show you all the cheeks out cream blush I used blush before not necessarily a cream blush but my go-to makeup in college was mascara and blush helped me look more alive because girl I was tired in college I never really know what shade of blush looks best on me so I got this oh cheeks out is not the color that is the name of the blush the color of the shade is summertime wine I am tripping it's really little really cute open it up girl come on comes like this Excuse me. So I'm gonna get this brush. Ooh, I don't, am I supposed to use a brush? I might. I might need to use my finger. It's very like waxy feeling. Oh yeah, for sure. Use my finger. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna smile. Child, that is so much. Jesus, hold on. This ain't how you're supposed to do it. But this is how I'm gonna do it for today. Jesus. I am not used to cream blush, but that's pretty. Once I learn how to blend it right, it's all up on my temples, gosh. Once I learn how to blend it right, that's cute to give me some color on my face because I'd be in the house, girl. I, the one thing I'm going to do is stay in the house. So it's like a light pinky color. In my mirror, it looks crazy, but it looks okay on the camera. So I'm not sure if I did it right, but a little rosy, a little rosiness. I'm going to put it on my other side. Girl, this is serious. This blush is like, Rihanna was not playing with this. They was not. Okay, see now I look like a clown. From far away, I look like I just ran six miles, I feel like. No, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. I'm really excited. People try to tell me like not to buy good makeup to practice makeup and I was like why not if I can why not all right so that's that let me get this off my hands I love that blush I'm so happy I bought that shade it looks great so lastly we have the diamond bomb baby traveling luminizing set like I said this was the free gift because I must have spent like what $75 this is beautiful I hope it doesn't look crazy on YouTube and I'm like this is beautiful <laughs> All right, so it comes like this. Uh, of course, we have the baby gloss bomb and my favorite gloss bomb shade, the Fussy. So, oh yeah. I've been using the gloss bomb creams lately and I forgot how much I loved the shimmer. Mmm, let me get me another one of these. Comes with that as well as this little itty bitty mirror with something inside. Ooh, girl, let me show y'all. What is this? I don't know, is this something I can just like... Nope, I just have something I have to take with my hand. Maybe. Sorry, that was ugly, but y'all, I'm just, 
so I think that was it. This is why I do voiceover, because I make sounds like that, and I can't always pick them out without it looking. I like that. I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Girl, hold on. Hold on. It's not blended right. It's just a lot of glitter, it seems like, but I don't have any mascara on. Maybe that's what's missing. So I didn't order any mascara because I already have it. This is the best mascara I've ever used in my entire life. And your eyelashes come out the most, the best and the most dramatic when you take your time. So of course it has that flat to fat ratio. So I start with the flat side and I just go to town. And after that, I turn it and then I do the flat side. And I... See the difference? Yeah, yeah. So the bottom stresses me out, mainly because I don't have a whole lot of lashes on the bottom. I have lashes, but not a whole lot. So what I do for that is just look down, use my flat side, and I just do little circles and catch my lashes. So I never really get them for real, but I just try to get a little bit of mascara on them. Then I'm gonna do the other side. So that is nice and light, nat nice and natural-ish. We'll have a lot going on here. Let me just chop. I think it's pretty. If I could just learn how to do my um, eyebrows, I'd be it. All right, guys, well, that is it for today. Let me know which products that you like that I showed today. I showed about five, right? So the Pro Filter Soft Matte um, Powder Foundation in the shade 100. I also showed my little two-in-one Gibbs with my mini gloss bomb and the Luminizer, which I look, Diamond Bomb. Oh yeah, like this is it. I'm gonna be using this. The Cream Blush, we have the Snap shadows in the number three, the deep neutrals, and of course our matchstick and suede. So let me know what products you guys like on me, what products you don't like on me. Like, let me know if you think the foundation is too light, if you think it's too dark, whatever. Um, because I want to know, you guys, we're like friends up in here, so but yeah, Fenty Beauty. I have not tried a product from Fenty Beauty that I do not like. You know, I also have a lot of the um. What are these? The standard lip paints. I have like four of these. I have mad lip gloss, all of the lip gloss. Also, I use Fenty Skin, which as I said before, keep an eye out, the video is coming. And of course, I also use the little highlighters that she has. So I'm just gonna keep buying from her because she's really like, I got her gloss bomb creams. Like y'all, I'm a Fenty Soleil. Okay, enough of all of that. I, let me um do a before and after. I should stand over here of what my skin look like before and after the makeup. So of course I have on the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation with the Summertime Wine Cheeks Out Cream Blush with the Diamond Bomb Little Luminizer and some mascara. And of course my lip gloss. So let's uh, let's see what the difference is looking like. To connect to your stage Wi-Fi network. You know, so I have this speaker, this Cavalier speaker, and she'd be talking in the middle of the night. I must not be turning it off, but they'd be scaring me to death. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like and also comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Share me with a friend, share the love. Like I said, we're all friends on this side. Also, if you'd like to keep up with me in day-to-day -day life, I am on Instagram at underscore J-A-Y-B-Y-D-A-Y underscore J by day, that's me. And yeah, guys, I'll see y'all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.